everyone and welcome back to Melissa Cove. You guys, I'm finally back. I had some filming issues the last time, but um, here I am. Um, I did promise um, someone, I can't, I'm, I'm having brain fog, that I would do a quick review of my monthly breakdown because I did film it, but the uh, video was corrupt. So here was my breakdown for... February, I guesstimated $2,550. I don't think we're going to get there. Um, this is what I've paid off already. Um, let me zoom in just a little bit. So already, I've paid Amazon, which is through the first, Ulta, Walmart, Canva, Insta Inc. And as you can see, I changed the date here. Um, Apple, I don't think that's come out yet. And my booth rent. Um, I just go ahead and mark it out because I paid that weekly, so I have to have somewhere to work, so we kind of know that's going to be paid. Um, Wayfair, they got $107. I want to say, I don't know why I have 107 on here, but I did think I did pay Wayfair, and I don't think I have one due, which is the 25th. Shopify came out a little early. It actually came out on the 3rd, so I've made a note for next month to move that. And Community Bank got 40. So I still have these things here to pay. Don't know how I'm going to pay it. Oh, let me go back. I did make a payment to Citibank for $32. And Barclays, they got 100 They really didn't. They got 80 And T-Mobile, I have a payment coming up this week of $285. Um, and we'll get into that during my weekly um, paycheck to paycheck. Um, Navy Federal Credit Union, I have a personal loan with them. This was tricky because I normally give them $100 every month. It's normally $96, but I end up giving them $100 to kind of pay it down. And I looked to go pay it. I was going to pay it today, but they have a total of $181. That is like my final payment. It will be late. I'll be paying that on tomorrow. Um, and then we have car insurance, that's 206. And then my car note, I didn't have it broken up this month. It is actually due today as well, and that is 363.81. I will not have that until tomorrow, prayerfully. So, with that breakdown, as you can see, I can't do any cash envelopes right now. I can't do any savings, and it's really um, kind of bothering me, but it's okay. Um, I've already thought about kind of doing a little savings offline like a $5 challenge or something. But right now, you guys, I just cannot financially contribute to any type of savings or anything. Um, also, I don't think I've been here since like January, but um, I caught COVID in January and that threw my budget completely out of the loop and put my finances in a definite chokehold. I think I did come back and I took like $700 out of some stocks that I had. Um, to help with the bills. So now I have nothing in my stock. So I do want to get back into um, gaining stocks and having those mature and things like that. But I really want to do my research on that. So nonetheless, let's hop right on in. So we're doing February 21st through the 27th. <sighs> oh, God. I'm laughing because, y'all, my income is just... I, I know that I'm busy tomorrow. That's all I got. And then I may have three more clients for the rest of the week. It has been terrible to the point I'm really considering just getting a regular job because I want a paycheck. I want to know what I'm making. And I'm too old and too big of an age to be out here guessing and paying my bills. And I like to pay my bills on time. Nonetheless, let's put down here. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to make but $750 this week. I would love to make more. We'll come back in next week and see what I actually made. Um, nails, I so far don't have anybody. I'll put zip. Shopify, I'm going to put 40. I already made a sale um, over the weekend, just one with uh, my new releases. And then I'm going to be doing a sale on some other items that I have. So right now that's just 40. So we have a grand total of $790 for the week. So, you know, on the 23rd, because they moved my car note for me back to the 23rd, that will be my car note, and that is $363.20. 
um, my loan, I'm going to pay that on the 21st, and that is 181.02. Okay, and what else we got this week? Oh, on the 24th, I owe T Mobile $285. I'm just writing down what I owe. I already know I'm going to be in a negative, but it's okay. Um, the booth rent, I believe that is the 26th. And then my booth rent goes up next month to $250. And that'll be $225. I'm going to check my monthly calendar to make sure I don't have anything that I'm overlooking. This is the 21st or the 25th. Wayfair. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. And then Wayfair, because I kept forgetting them because they got put on a different date than I'm used to. I was behind, like, not behind, but I paid two payments late, and they dropped my um, balance, or whatever you call it, what I would have. And I had over, like, 2000 They dropped me down to 500 and I wanted to pay off what I already had because I wanted to get a new, like, kitchen table. So now I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I'm almost to the point I don't want to pay nobody, <laughs> especially these credit cards. So I'm going to give them 50 um, for Wayfair, and then car insurance is due next Monday. I'm not going to include that. And I think this ink came out. Oh, also on the 25th, we have um, GoDaddy. And that's $7.41. And that is for my name. But down here in the notes, I'm going to make a note because I have to pay my um, P.O. box, which I think I'm just going to get rid of because I just can't afford it at this time. Um, I'm going to put P.O. box. It's like either, I think it's $79. They went up as well. <sighs> so let's do some math. Let's see what we can afford this week. And I, I really just hate coming always with bad news. I'm really trying, but I just can't help it. So we got 363. So we have a grand total of $1,111.63. Put that here. Eleven, eleven. Now, as you can clearly see, I'll be in the negative, so let's subtract that $790. And this is really on the low end, so I'm in the negative by um, $321.63. So, this is what it is. I don't think I have a red. I don't think this is a red. Let me just trace this. $300. $21.63. I am in the negative. So basically, I need to come up with $321. Um, the only thing I would see that possibly I would not have is my T Mobile. And it's a possible way I could get that pushed to next week, but I'm not certain. So that would come out of that, leaving me like a little bit of a cushion. But um, I definitely want to pay that this week. So we need to work on making $321.63. So my plan of action for that is to run a sale. Um, I've sold everything that I can sell in my house <laughs> that I no longer use, but that would be it. My last resort is to go do Instacart. Very last resort. Um, prayerfully, um, I'll get some new customers this week. But that is that. So, I'm trying to come back on a, on a weekly basis with my budget. Um, budgeting, I enjoy doing it, but I just get a little down about it when I don't have the funds. But, um, this too shall pass. A way has always been made. You know, like I said, some things are just going to have to be late. And if it's late, it's okay, because at least they're not cutting in nothing off or coming to get anything. And I have these stickers here I got from <laughs> Coco Mini's Plans. I've been meaning to show them on my Instagram. Uh, check her shop out, Coco Coco's Mini Plans. And this one says, bitch, you're doing a good job. And I think I am. <laughs> so I am going to put this down here in my notes. I need some more of those. 
because I'm doing the best I can. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this video actually takes that I can upload it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we still have to put this planner together, but y'all, I'm just barely making it, okay? But I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I come back with more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.